Okay, friends. So in this video, we shall see uh, the processing integrity constituent of the trust services framework. Uh, and the second of uh, the series is the data entry controls within this constituent. In the previous video, we see the we saw the source data controls. So when the source data is captured, the same data has to be entered in the system. So what are the entry controls? So if this data is entered manually into the system, then some of the controls can be the field check. Uh, the field check works to see if the appropriate type of data uh, is there uh, while typing the data. So, for example, if it is a CNIC number, uh, the alphabet should not be entered and the system will automatically uh, invalidate any entry of the alphabet system will pop up some error that uh, the alphabet should not be entered. Or if there is uh, some uh, other field which requires an alphabet, then maybe the digits or the special characters or the numeric uh, digits should not be entered. So, these are the field checks. It can be sign check in terms of the plus and the minus. So, for example, if the system is uh, uh, asking for debits and credits and the same are tagged as a plus and minus, then uh, this kind of type of uh, sign check can also work. It can be limit check. For example, uh, the the uh, uh, limit, uh, the maximum limit for which the data input is allowed. So, for example, if you people are enrolling in courses, then maybe the maximum number of courses which are allowed are six. Uh, so this is a sort of limit check which will be performed automatically. So this is a processing check. But on the input side, the limit check is something with, that when we enter the data into the system and the system automatically checks that the uh, the limit is uh, the uh, data is exceeding the limit. So for example, in our system, in our SAP system, if you post an entry, an accounting entry in FB50 for five million US dollars, you, the system will pop up with an error that this is the exceeding the limit which is authorized for the user. So in our system, I recall the maximum limit was something around 100,000 or $500,000. So these are the limit checks which can be put on various fields. And the limit check is one-sided. The range check is actually both-sided. So we can uh, see the minimum and the maximum as well in the range check. The size check is not about the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, I mean the numeric value, but it's more about the placeholder. So, for example, if something has to come in five digits, if something requires to be five digit, it should not be four digit or something like this. Completeness checks is not a field level; it is a document level check. So, for example, if we are making an accounting entry in FB50 and we have entered the debits, but we have not entered the credit, or we have entered the debits and credit, but we have not entered the posting date or if we have not entered the document date. So system checks that all the necessary pieces of information, the mandatory information is entered before posting the data. So this is a sort of a completeness check. Validity check is to check uh, that the data is valid. So for example, uh, it always check the data from a predefined list of data, predefined uh, list of values. So for example, if you enter the date into the system, system, the system checks the date with the calendar. So the 30th February check uh, for example, if you enter the date is 30th February or maybe 31st April, the system will not accept the date because they are not valid dates within the context of the calendar that the system has. Similarly, to valid check in the account number in the FP50, if you enter an account number which is not there in your chart of account, the system will pop up with an error. So these are the sort of valid checks. And reasonable check, these are the intelligent tests, uh, checks which are not bound. These are the warnings. So for example, if you post an accounting entry, this is the month of May, you are posting an accounting entry of April in the posting date is April and you're posting uh, in May, the system might come up with a warning that are you sure you want to post in the previous month, which is not the current month. Similarly, reasonable checks may be put on some amounts as well. Uh, sometimes the invoice number, if it repeats, the system pops up with the error that this, uh, this invoice has already been posted, are you sure? or invoice amount, this invoice amount is already posted, are you sure? So something like this, these are the reasonable tests. These are usually the warnings, not exactly the, the errors uh, which pop up. So oh, these are some of the examples. <coughs> they can be put on the batch processing and for the real-time processing. And uh, some of the slides have been removed from this presentation. You can see that uh, we are concerned with only uh, this is the 43rd slide of 138 from the original system, but uh, within the data that we have, it is the 43rd of 63. So many slides have been removed from this uh, uh, this presentation in order to make it easy for you people. So this ends the uh, data entry controls. So in the next video, we shall see the processing controls. 
Uh, thank you.